the amount of money that it took me years to save is equivalent to like what I'm making right now within two months. Wow. Are you a chef or do you cook some really good food and you want to start a career in this space? If that is you, then you are in luck because in today's video, we're reacting to how this chef made more than $14,000 a month as a private chef and to see if they're the real deal or not. Hello guys, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. If this is the type of content that you enjoy, that you like, make sure you guys smash the like button because that shows me this is something that I should create more of for you. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Hi. Hey, hey, hi, how? Emily. Hi, Emily, how are you nice doing? Here is the uh, influencers in the wild. <laughs> the pizza making class, chef of experience. This is Michael O. He's a private chef from Atlanta, Georgia. You have no idea how happy I am. Since being let go from his corporate job during the pandemic, Michael has been pursuing his passion turned side hustle, cooking full time. Since then, he has more than doubled his income. The money's coming in. You know, I, 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 I can't complain. I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. This is very interesting because throughout the whole pandemic, the world has been split in two. The first type of people, 99% of the people out there, they were stuck in their own bubble. They were waiting for things to be normal again. They were waiting for things to blow by. Yet, they're not doing anything about that. They're letting the external circumstances control what they do and control their world. Yet the other half, the other type of the people, the 1% of the people, the action takers actually went out. Knowing the rules of the game have changed, they went out and learned the rules of the games and they made a difference for themselves. And that's the reason why he is able to reap the rewards of his labor. Michael has no formal culinary training. In fact, he's never even worked in a professional kitchen. But hospitality is as much about entertaining guests as it is preparing amazing cuisine. Guys, Michael is the real deal. Guys, like we're a minute into the video and he is already the real deal. I know that because he didn't let anything stop him from achieving what he really wanted to do. His passion. He didn't let the lack of skill set, not having formal culinary education, not letting himself have all these excuses that prevents him from taking action and going out there to serve the world. He understands the secret, the secret to hospitality, the secret to food and beverage is all about the experience. When you can deliver a great experience, that's what it's all about, not just about the food. A lot of people mistake in this and they just focus purely on the food and neglect everything else. Food is all about the experience. We're talking about the five senses of, of experience. From what I'm seeing right now, he gives his customers funny looking aprons that promotes his own brand while being able to entertain his guests. That's what plays into the whole experience. So for your food business that you're thinking about, think about it for the whole experience journey that your customers are going through and how you can wow them in every single aspect from delivering your order to receiving your order from after the order. What are they experiencing? What prompts are you putting through? What are something intentional that you can set to make sure you can wow your customers? And it doesn't take long to see how his outgoing personality connects with his clients. <laughs> I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy, you know, the satisfaction that they get from the food, you know, that I prepare for them and the experience that I bring to their home. Since going full time in 2020, Michael has been preparing about four parties per week. He also holds virtual cooking classes for big Silicon Valley corporations. We're at the final stretch. Prices vary depending on how many people and the type of cuisine they want, but usually range from $150 to $350 per person. Altogether, Michael is bringing in around $14,000 each month. I knew that I made it big when I realized that the amount of money that it took me years to save is equivalent to like what I'm making right now within two months. Wow, that 
is pretty inspiring, guys. The fact that he went out and actually demanded the price of 100 to 300 bucks per person, not a lot of people can do that at an event, let alone someone with no culinary experience, guys. So that's really understanding the positioning that he has in the marketplace. How are you positioning yourself? Are you positioning yourself as someone who's delivering a whole experience at the comfort of your own home, entertaining all your guests, or are you gonna be going with the low volume? Understanding your market and understanding your positioning is what's gonna set you apart amongst all the crowds. Michael grew up in Alpharetta, Georgia, after his parents immigrated to the United States from South Korea. They want us to get into the best schools, get the best job, get married, have kids, the full nine yards. Unfortunately, I didn't live up to those expectations. He always had a passion for cooking, but his parents pushed him towards a more financially stable career. My parents didn't want me to become a chef. They wanted me to work in corporate America, do something that's very comfortable, something that's going to pay the bills, the nine to five job, the benefits, the 401k. Michael was working as a recruiter up until 2020 while cooking on the side, but was laid off due to the pandemic. Instead of sulking, he decided to pursue his dream and start cooking full time. But first, he had to line up some clients. It was probably the most devastating news I've ever received in my life. You know, when after when you bought a house, you have all these plans, um, what you want to do in your career. It's it's a weird cliche, you know, what they say is you make lemonades out of lemons, you know, it's a silver lining. And I feel like, you know what? <laughs> Why not do this right now? Let me give this a shot. I got my severance money. Let's go ahead, let's start my business and let's thrive. I love this. This is really the attitude that we must all have, is that we don't know what's gonna be thrown at us. The only thing we know is how we react to these circumstances. And really, the time to take action is right now. If you have a passion for what you're doing, if you really enjoy cooking, if you know this is your calling, to be able to see the faces, the happy faces, and to deliver those experiences, if that is your calling, is something you're passionate about, Truly, really, it is time for you to take action and not wait for any longer. Wait for external circumstances, external people telling you that it is time because before you know it, it could never happen. He's got something that is truly amazing and it is just luck for him because he's got laid off. But for you, when you're in your nine to five job and if you are stressing out and if you're not finding fulfillment in it day after day, then maybe it really time. It is really then maybe it is really time for you to take that leap. So we are heading off to the Beef for Highways Farmers Market. That's where I like to get my fresh produce. All right, got some mozzarella cheese. Can't go wrong with that. The pandemic actually created a niche for Michael, since most people were staying home and only gathering in small groups. Restaurant dining rooms weren't open. So if they wanted a culinary experience, they had to happen inside of people's homes. Michael took full advantage. You know, a lot of trips, a lot of um, parties were canceled uh, due to the pandemic. And so they realized, you know what, we want to have an intimate experience. And that's how they were able to find me on Instagram. This is the key, guys. Marketing yourself and branding yourself on Instagram is everything, especially if you wanna be selling food, this is the platform to be on because everyone shares their experience, whether it's good or bad on Instagram. And if you're not utilizing this platform to really grow your brand using UGC, user-generated content, using testimonials, using your own values and your own culture and the way that you are just doing your business, then you are missing out on a really big platform, an opportunity to make $14,000 a month, crazy stuff. Utilize Instagram, guys. What's up, man? What's up, man? How, are How are you? I'm good, man. Good, man. I gotta go with some hanger steaks, steaks, man. Michael O has, has never worked one day, one day in a professional, in a professional kitchen, kitchen or attended any type of formal culinary training. I'm 100% self-taught. But posting his culinary creations on Instagram created a massive audience for him. I always post all these pictures, I do all these travels, kind of living like Anthony Bourdain, and 
One day someone reached out to me to ask me if I could be the private chef for uh, his wife and her partners. And next thing you know, and I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'll do it right away. That's the attitude, guys. If you don't know how to do it, just do it. Say yes, learn along the way, and figure it out. It is okay. Don't let not knowing be a reason of you not taking action. That is key, guys. And for you guys to actually stumble upon this video, you guys already know where to look for information when you don't know to do something, and that's on YouTube. Follow my channel. Make sure you guys smash the like button so then that way you can get more of these knowledge bombs in your inbox. And so that was my very first gig that I ever done on the side. After the success of that first party in 2016, his cooking gigs took on a snowball effect. One client would post on Instagram or Facebook and some of their followers would reach out. They see stories about their friends post, right? They see pictures of them being tagged and all these great experiences and they want to capture all that. How's business been, man? Pretty good. Um, right now, man. Michael's weekends quickly filled with private parties, but even still, he made travel a priority so he could continue learning new cuisines and techniques. I'm traveling around the world and I'm acquiring a lot of knowledge. I go to Bologna, Italy, learn how to make pasta, and I fell in love with it, and I'm saying to myself, you know what, this is something I could actually do. This is something I can make a living out of. I could actually come back to the States and show people how to make pasta from scratch, bring the experience to their home. Michael still doesn't have a formal website or a booking process. The majority of his clients reach out through DM or Facebook groups. That is insane, guys. Once again, he is really living the life of just, you know what, not living by any excuses, guys. No website, no nothing. No logo, no nothing. Only an Instagram page and even Facebook page and through referrals. Guys, when it comes to marketing, Word of mouth marketing is everything. So definitely you must deliver a great experience and really be intentful with it. Like I was saying from the very beginning, be intentful with your customer journey and everything else would immediately fall in place. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Yeah. Alrighty, we're off. What I'm doing right now, you got some fresh tomatoes right here and just kind of squeezing them. Going full-time proved to be lucrative for Michael, but with more parties taking place each week, soon he was being stretched too thin. He needed to bring on some help. The mangoes uh -huh. aren't really right here, so uh -huh. I'm just going to get them super rich. Okay, that's fine, man. Now that Michael has extra hands, he is able to increase his catering capacity. Here we are right now in June, and I'm already booked down until November, December. From June till November, everything is booked up. That is insane. And guys, even in Vancouver, and this is not only in the States, this is not a unicorn, this is not something that's special just because he's lucky. No, there's a huge demand for private chefs serving and entertaining small groups in an intimate setting. This is exactly what's happening in Vancouver as well. We see these private chefs being booked out months in advance, and I like to host my friends in private gatherings as well, because in times of uncertainty, what do we want? We want some certainty and we want to feel safe. We want to feel familiar. We want to make sure that we don't get judged by people when we're outside having good laugh and everything. And that's the reason why these private chef at home is such a popular item and a niche that you should definitely head into if you're a private chef and if you love cooking. You know, the weekends are all boring. Been kind of crazy. Never thought that it would be like this at all, you know. Quick, easy sauce. That's gonna be for the pizza. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Emily. Emily, how are you nice doing? His parties are a mix of private cooking classes followed by a meal prepared by Michael and his team. Typically, the guests can learn how to prepare the appetizer, like a homemade pizza or dumplings. In this one, you could feel free to put whatever you like. I figured, like, you know, I have a little arugula. No wonder he can charge 150 to 300 bucks per person. Guys, remember I was talking about experience. Experience is not just consuming. It is also being participating. It is doing as well. What better food tastes good? What, how can food taste bad when you make it yourself? And even if it tastes bad, it's okay because you made it and you're proud of it. And you had the experience with your friends. Now you learned something a little bit more. Now you've gained value from this 
person, this Micah. Now you've gained value not just on the meal itself, but also you learned something new. You might never be making a pizza yourself at home again, but it's okay because you feel that you've received the value. This is the full-on experience that he's designed for his customers. For you, what kind of experience can you deliver to your customers that can be added value, that they feel that this is worth it? Whether it is cooking dumplings, whether it's making ice cream, whether it's a workshop to understand the history of ice cream, whatever that is, added value in your customer's journey is going to make this whole experience much more fulfilled and then that way you can charge more. That's actually with um, a little bit of truffle oil in here too. Then as they enjoy the fruits of their labor, Michael cooks the rest of the meal. <laughs> and that's the key by the way guys. People don't love to do work. They want to have fun so they can make the easy stuff while Michael prepares the rest of the stuff. That's the reason why he's actually doing it like this because he understands people don't like to do hard work. They don't want to cook their whole meal themselves. They want to cook a little bit, have fun, and then enjoy that gathering, that environment, while someone else takes care of the hard stuff. It's like a watercress puree, which is really, really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, like, look how much meat we have, guys. I'm probably not the most cheapest chef that are out there right now, but I can assure you it's, it's Michael O. It's me. Some people hate onions and cilantro, but like when they make eat, eat chimichurri, it's totally a different ball game, you know? Wow. Michael hopes to one day expand the chef -o experience. Branching off to many different sectors, mainly getting to the catering business, uh, hosting larger parties. And although he has found financial success, he says his biggest win was combining his passion for cooking with his love of meeting new people. Obviously, food is very good in every restaurant, right? But how often is it that they allow people to come over to their house, cook for them, and build in that strong relationship with them? If you don't like pizza, then something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> I know, I know. I love this. This is truly the real deal. He understands. Food and beverage is all about the experience. And being able to deliver an experience to the customers while holding true to what you're passionate about is truly a success. And the financial is just the cherry on top. So definitely great job, Chef O. You've done an amazing job. You're the real deal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because at the end of the day, really it's about the experience. If there's one thing you can take away from this video is that experience is everything when it comes to food and beverage. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Shows me this is the type of content you like. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.